Numerical Methods, Problem 10.8. The following system of equations is designed to determine concentrations, the C's in G over M cube, in a series of coupled reactors as a function of the amount of mass input to each reactor, the right-hand side of the equation. Here's our matrix of reactors given to us by our problem. Part A wants us to determine the inverse matrix. So to determine the inverse matrix, we simply take the numbers from our matrix and use the INV function, which will return the inverse of the matrix A. Part B says, use the inverse of the matrix to determine a solution. So, we separate our left side and right side of the matrix. So we have A as our left side of the matrix, and B as the right side of the matrix, and X representing our reactors C1, C2, and C3. To find our reactors C1, C2, and C3 represented as X, we take the inverse matrix and multiply by B, or the right side of the equation. And to check if we have done this correctly, we take our A matrix and multiply it by our X vector, representing C1, C2, and C3. Part C asks us to determine how much the rate of mass input to reactor 3 must be increased to induce a 10 g per m cubed rise in the concentration of reactor 1. So, we simply add 10 to our C1 or our reactor 1 and then solve our equation as before taking A and multiplying it by the new set of C's that are stated in the Part C of this problem. In Part D, it asks us how much will the concentration in reactor 3 be reduced if the rate of the mass input to reactors 1 and 2 is reduced by 700 and 350 respectively. So, we simply subtract 700 and 350 from our masses of our right side of the equation, which is here, to get our new right side of the equation. And then we go through the same steps to find our new C values or reactor values. So let's run it up. As you can see here is our original matrix. When we take the inverse of the matrix, here is our inverse of the matrix. And here is our right side of the equation. And here when we multiply the inverse matrix times the right side of the equation, we receive our x or our concentration values in this problem. And to check it, we multiplied our original matrix 
times the x that we received and as you can see this b matches our original b given to us by the problem. And the next part it simply wants us to add 10 to our right side of the equation for our first reactor. So C1's concentration, I mean our left side of the equation, so C1's concentration we simply add 10 to and then multiply out our matrix by our new set of C's to get our new values for the mass of the reactors. So here are our new values of the reactors. as compared to our old values or original B values which are here. As you can see the mass of the first reactor went up and the other two decreased so we are in a coupled system and then we move on to part D as you can see we have our new B values here 2600, 850 and 2400 now and we get our new values for C1, C2, and C3 and then to see how the values have changed we simply take our old values of C and subtract the new values of C and we notice that they have decreased by 55, 35, and 21. And that is it for problem 10.8 in numerical methods.